I'm going to start with the first stepped or stored random voltage, which is the n plus 1 version, if you're used to Buchel terminology. Basically, n is the value of the knob, and the knob's position, plus 1, is the number of different random levels that will come out of it. So when the knob's at 0, you're only going to get one value. I'm going to go ahead and pull the first trace on my scope here, and plug it into its output. I have that trace set up to be one grid line per volt. And a very nice thing about this Sapel is that it quantizes the output of the n plus 1 output to integer voltages. And when you run that to an oscillator, like I am here through a precision adder, it will produce one octave steps. As we said before, the knob is at position 0, and 0 plus 1 means that I should only be getting one value out of it. So if I just play a single note, I always get the same pitch. However, as I increase its knob's position, I start getting more possibilities. You hear the occasional octave jump there as it goes to its other value. So I keep increasing it. I weight it a little bit more towards the higher of the two values. Increase a little bit more. Now I'm at a basically knob position of 2 plus 1 and plus 1, and I'm getting three different values. And I can keep going up the scale till. So I get quite a wide range of octave settings. But let's dial this back to. Essentially three different values. Now I have this mixture of sounds going through the Moto Mouth format filter. The very cool thing about the control voltage input on the motor mouth is that each semitone of voltage change selects a different vowel format. Well, the second stepped or stored voltage output on the FRAP, the 2 to the n version one, again the knob's position is n, puts out different voltages quantized to semitones. So you can use this to go ahead and output different semitone interval random pitches, or it's perfectly mated to this filter to select different vowels. I'll go ahead and grab my second input to my data here, plug it into the output of the 2 to the n, and again, if the knob's set to 0, 2 to 0 power is only one different value. So I always get the same vowel format. I'll go ahead and actually take the octave offset off and get both oscillators in the mix. As I increase the knob slightly, I'll start getting two to different powers. To the first power is two different values. The second power is four different values, etc. So I'm basically two different values right now. The knob position is one, two to the first power, two values, and you can see that in my second trace here. And I have the sensitivity of the data setup to be one grid line equals a half volt. So 12 semitones fit into two grid lines here. You notice that everything's based around the zero line and offsets above that. But if I increase the value of this control, I get different semitone voltage intervals out, which selects different vowels in this particular module. Of course, with other things such as oscillators, you get different pitches, and you can plug that into any parameter. As you increase it, you get a wider and wider range of outputs. But there's a limit to what the motor mouth can take, basically a 1.25 voltage range to be useful. So I'll back this off to just over two different grid lines of variations, maybe a little bit less than that. 